What's going down? This is Donnie Houston, and I want to tell you about TNC Beauty Supply Store. I was in OST Liquor the other day picking up some Highway Vodka, and I ran into my homie C. Watts. She was in there getting herself together, getting ready to go DJ for the night, and she was telling me, you know, about the Black Home Beauty Supply Store next door, and that I should come check it out with her. So we go in there, and they had all kind of stuff. Beer products, hair sponges. They even had that Beijing for y'all boys that's a little light at the top. <laughs> hey, check out TNC Beauty Supply Store located next door to OST Liquor at 3928 Old Spanish Trail. That's 3928 Old Spanish Trail. Being in, because I mean, you, you've been in the game, shit, we just said almost 40 years, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the world has changed so much, and like we watch like the baby, you know what I'm saying? Who's, yeah. who's getting in all the issues that he's having right. right now, you know what I mean? To say some of the stuff he said, like that shit would have been all right, you know, maybe 15, 20 years, yeah. you know, back in the day. Do you now, uh, are you more conscious of like going into your writing process of like, okay, let me say some things different, let me be conscious of this? Or, I mean, yeah, it, I was I was doing that before the cancel culture even was born, but I was doing it from a standpoint of, of growth and maturity within myself. Just coming from people who would meet me and say, man, I listen to your music, but what I like about your music now is I can ride with it while my little children is in the back seat. They can listen to it. So that's what initiated the change for me to say, okay, I want to say this, but nah, because I try now to make my albums as as profanity free as possible. You know, you're gonna still slip one in there here and there, but if you listen to my last 15, 20 albums, the cursing is like super, super low. You know what I'm saying? So as far as um, certain terms and certain derogatory uh, words here and there, that have become red flags in, in, in society, I can't say that I'm, I'm, I consciously duck that now because I was already on that path, but I know a lot of people do. But to speak on that situation, to be honest with you, man, I mean, we are in that council culture where we don't even give people an opportunity to make a mistake without just decapitating them instantly and being a moral judge, like we don't make mistakes, like we don't talk crazy. And sometimes people say things and get criticized heavily for saying things by people who are out doing things that are worse than what somebody is saying. Mm -hmm. So we just we just love to sit behind a keyboard and, and cancel people. And, and a lot of times we canceling each other, you know. Um, there are things that, that, that other groups of people that can do to us and have done to us for decades and decades, man, and centuries that we continue to let slide and we give them passes over and over again. But when one of our own has a slip of the tongue or if one of our own is not educated, you know, they haven't been educated or they have not grown and matured to where they fully understand, understand right, not to right, say, right. we just, that's it for them, that's it for them. And um, these platforms, the national platforms that a lot of black people are given, we use those platforms to tear other black people down. And we gotta stop doing that. We got to be what they call on code. You know, it's all right if, if something happens, if the baby or whoever else comes out and they say something or they do something that we, we might agree is, is out of pocket, we got to call them in the room you know, hey, brother, hey, you said this, you said that, hey, be careful about it. But we're not going to be trying to just cancel each other, you know, like we just the more judge of, of each other like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's wild, man. Uh, you got to be careful with everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's how, they, that's how they set it up. But see, at the root of that, and I'm going to say it, I'm, I'm going on to say it, at the root of that, you have groups of people who set that, precedent simply because they have done so much evil throughout their they life, throughout their whole existence. They've done so much evil. So now you got all of these black people coming out 
that are that are educating other black people on the history of things that were done to us by those groups of people. So they created that bubble of, hey, if you say anything critical about the Jewish community, you out of there. If you say anything critical about the LGBTQ community, you out of there. I didn't say disrespectful. I didn't say uh, making mockery. I didn't say negative or derogatory. I said critical. So even if I say, well, nah, I don't agree with your lifestyle, guess what? Oh, you homophobic. Oh, you this, you that, you out of there. Or if I say, well, hold on, wait a minute. The, the members of the Jewish community, they are responsible for uh, uh, the transatlantic slave trade. Uh, they all the descendants of those who did. We we can say it. Oh, what lie did I tell? But you can't say that because they control. So they set that standard and it trickled down to us. Now we round here following suit. Everything is 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 it's not a necessarily a sensitivity issue. It's just a, it's set up to where nothing, nobody can can actually have a disagreement with those groups without. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they like it. Because it makes a lot of people shut up and hush up simply because they bag is on the line now. See, it's a song on my new album called I Apologize. And I ain't gonna give it away. I want y'all to go listen to it. But that's exactly what I'm talking about. Because anytime you got a black person that comes out and they make some bold statements, even when the statements are true, here they come flocking down from the from the mountaintop and telling you what you better not say and hey that was that was disrespectful we were offended by that and what you see now he's standing up there apologizing he's issuing a statement saying that I never meant to hurt anybody hey man look if you speaking the truth speak the truth you know if you've done your research and you know it's the truth speak that truth and stand on it. the same way you stood on it when you first said it and you had the confidence to say it don't let the threat of what they can take from you make you fold up. You know, it's, it's, it's a money thing, man. It's a money thing. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.